one, we are joined by Brad Duncan, who uh, is the Director of Professional Standards at CEC. First off, let's talk about you know what, what you mean when you say standards. Absolutely. So uh, the standards define the specialized expertise that uh, educators must know when they enter the field. So these are designed for higher education preparation programs. And CEC currently has standards for uh, special educators, gifted educators, and we have a new set for administrators as well. And you mentioned um, here at the conference or currently you're meeting in small groups to kind of get a better idea from people how they can use these standards and implement them. Talk to us about that. Sure, so uh, we are hosting some small focus groups. So we've sent out some invitations to our higher ed folks here at the conference and we're really hoping to find some feedback and uh, what programs really need to take a grasp of the standards and implement them. And what we really wanna do with that is we really wanna be able to support programs to use the standards in effective ways. So we wanna find out what hurdles that programs are facing and how we can help break those hurdles down. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at these standards, um, is there anything that really stands out to you that's new or that people should know about or that you want to mention? Sure, so we do. I did mention that we have a new set of administrator standards that it's our first non-teacher centric set of standards, so that's exciting news. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a fairly new revision to our K-12 standards, um, so that just came out and we're just now implementing the use of those. And then we also have a brand new set of early childhood standards, so those are brand new, the first of their kind, and those focus on birth through age eight. And you mentioned the accreditation. Is that separate from what that is? Absolutely. We are super excited to announce that we have launched accreditation with CEC. And this is the, going to be the only opportunity for special ed programs to be directly accredited. And that's a really big feat because it's the, we're the dominant um, organization in the field. And so it's, the, it's an opportunity for a special ed program standalone to be able to be accredited. And the idea is something that we were speaking about. The idea is that when a, a student or a teacher goes through these standards, they're sort of the best of the best because they meet all those guidelines. Correct. So uh, the CEC standards are created for the field by the field. So all of our experts that we have in our membership, outside of our membership, are other organizations that we work with. So we pull everyone in to make sure that our standards are revised and they're approved for the field and by the field. And when a student or a teacher, a new teacher is coming out of one of these preparation programs that uses the standards, um, it really demonstrates that they're kind of top tier and that they have the knowledge and skills necessary to perform and excel in their roles. Great information, thank you so much. Thank you.